Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Well, today, as four of the best female athletes in the world take to the Senate Court for the women's semi finals, the Australian Open hosts the second annual celebration of inspirational women. This year, the focus is on global leadership, and we are delighted to be joined here at Rod Laver Arena by an incredible group of women representing fields as diverse as human rights, medicine, the arts, media, and sport. We would now like to recognise some outstanding leading women who are in the arena today. Ladies, when your name is called, I would love you to stand up and please stay standing. Would you please welcome Australian tennis legends Margaret Court and Yvonne Goolagong Corley. Stay standing. Up. President and CEO of the United States Tennis Association, Katrina Adams. <laughs> 2015 Australian of the Year, Rosie Batty. Director of Finance and Corporate Affairs, Melanie Cooper from Cooper's Brewery. <laughs> Founder and CEO of Carmen's Foods, Carolyn Creswell. <laughs> Rhonda Barrow of the Barrow Group. Lynn Fox Asia CEO, Gabrielle Costigan. Lisa Dawson from the Macquarie Group. Holly Ransom, CEO of Emergent. Callie Robinson, Gage Corporation. General Rector, Victoria Health Promotion Foundation. Robin Smith, Chief Executive, Sport Inclusion Australia. Sonia Thompson, Head of Female Cricket, Cricket Victoria. Deborah Skidmore, Director, City Circle Group. Natalie Posma, Executive Director and Company Secretary, Dennis Family Homes. Bernadette Walker, Financial Controller, Ibis World. Kate Weiss, Co-Founder, Table of Plenty. Australian tennis champions Leslie Bowery and Judy Dalton. <laughs> Leading interior design expert Shana Blaze. Once was founder Belinda Glynn. Adore Beauty founder and director, Kate Morris. And Olympic gold medalists, Natalie Cook and Liesl Jones. Thank you, ladies. We'd now like to recognise some inspirational women who've made outstanding contributions to Australia and our way of life. Would you please welcome to Rod Laver Arena, Jo Burston.
Joe Burston is the founder and CEO of Job Capital and founder of the entrepreneurial movement Inspiring Rare Birds. Rare Birds promotes opportunities for women in entrepreneurship and has a global vision of one million women in its community by 2020. Would you welcome to Rod Laver Arena, Indira Naidu. Best known as an accomplished anchor and broadcaster, Indira has turned her communication skills to the issues of food security, sustainability and gardening. Indira has also worked for consumer advocacy group Choice and is a Geneva-based consultant with the United Nations Trade Development Arm. <laughs> Would you also please welcome to Rod Laver Arena, Kim Brennan. Olympic gold, silver and bronze medalist, Kim Brennan's arduous training regime has not hindered her study and career. Kim graduated from Melbourne University with first class honours. While rowing, Kim has worked as a lawyer, both in private practice, where she specialised in intellectual property law, commercial law and sports law, and as in-house counsel. Kim now combines her work with charity initiatives, including the Good Sports Program and the Kafu River and Rowing Centre in Zambia. She was also awarded an Order of Australia in today's Australia Day Honours List. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honour to welcome Australian Open Tournament Director Craig Tiley to make a presentation to this outstanding group of leading women. Keep that round of applause going for all of our inspirational women that are here today. And next up, we have a few more inspiring women as the first of the women's semi-finals today between Coco Vandewey and Venus Williams.